Welcome back. This is lesson 13 for eighth grade, module seven. All right, so we are getting close to the end of this topic. So we have 13 and 14. Um, in my class, we did skip 13. So don't think that I forgot to post that um, video. We just skipped it. So we are gonna do comparing irrational numbers. So number one, Rodney thinks that the cube root of 64 is greater than 17 fourths. Sam thinks 17 fourths is greater. So who's right? Well, let's get our calculator ready. I'm gonna pull it up here, clear it out. All right, so we have the cube root of 64. So we're gonna do 64 cube root and I get four, okay? So let's write that down. The cube root of 64 gives me four. Now let's say what is 17 fourths? So on our calculator, we're gonna do 17 divided by four and I get 4.25. This equals 4.25. So which one is bigger? Who has more? Well, that would be the 17th force. So Rodney thinks that 17 force was greater. Sam thinks, oh no, he thinks this one's greater. Sam thinks the 17th force is greater. So we're gonna say Sam is correct. There we go. All right, let's go to the next one. We have, which number is smaller? Now this one, you really gotta read those clue words. Don't think everything's talking about greater. It does flip back and forth between smaller and greater. So we have the cube root of 27 versus 2.89. All right, so let's get our calculator here. We're gonna say 27 cube root is three. So this equals three. Which one is smaller? This one would be smaller. All right, let's try the next one. We have the square root of 121, which I just know is 11, plus or minus. And then I have the cube root of 125. All right, so let's try that. 125 cube root, I get five. So the question's asking which one is smaller? That would be this one. So we're gonna say the cube root of 125 is smaller. Don't say five is smaller. They're asking you back up in the question, which of these is smaller? So you have to make sure that you go back and fill that part in. All right, let's look at four. Four says which number is smaller? So I'm gonna let you do four, five, and six. Um, Actually, you're gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this worksheet because it's all the same. So let me just browse through it here on the video. So which one is smaller? This one here, which one is greater? This one here, which one is greater? Now that's a fraction, that's a repeat decimal, just don't forget that part. On the back, which one is greater? Same thing. Number eight, which one is greater? And on the last page, this um, I'll go ahead and I'll do a couple with you on this one. All right, but if you remember this from lesson 11 where we put radicals on a number line. So I'm gonna do this one here. We have the square root of 25. The easiest thing to do is to come out here and write these all down. All right, so you get your calculator set up. All right, you're gonna say 28 square root and I get this long decimal. Give yourself, if you notice, my number line here is only to the tenths place. So do not round, you put 5.2, okay? And then the next one I have is the square root of 30. So I'm gonna come over here and say 30 square root, I get 5.4. Again, do not round, all right? So you're gonna come in and put your dots. I'm gonna put a dot like that, and I'm gonna say that's the cube root, or the, excuse me, that's the square root of 25. 5.2, this was the square root of 28. 5.4, that's the square root of 30. Okay, so you'll do the rest. And then number 10 says challenge, but you're still gonna do it. Don't think that it means bonus. They just wanna see if you can determine which is larger. Now this one, you might need to write down more numbers after the decimal from the calculator. There's your hint. Okay, don't write down just the first two and you'll see why. 
All right, so this concludes this video tutorial.